Hey everybody, this is Ross. In today's video, we're gonna be bagging my grape clusters. These are my grape clusters, by the way, that have just formed, it's, it's mid-June. They're getting some size to them. And what I don't want to happen is actually for my grape clusters this year to get hit with any disease. And for those of you out there, maybe you suffer, your grapevines suffer from a disease called black rot. And black rot is basically a, a very difficult disease to deal with that really infects the European grape varieties. Um, and it's almost unavoidable in humid climates, places with a lot of rain in the summer or in the fall. Um, it's quite difficult. I've tried other methods in terms of spraying. I've, ter I've tried, you know, really trellising them up and try to increase the airflow, thinning out leaves, thinning out shoots. Um, you know, there's only so much you can do, but once you get the, the disease of, of black rot on your grapevines, it's almost impossible to get rid of it uh, without a really harsh chemical. So what I've decided to do is actually take the advice of Michael McConkey at Edible Landscaping. He's in, um, in Virginia. There's also another grower, a backyard grower called Lee Reich, and he wrote a book, and this is the method that they both recommend. It's been proven to work. It really does um, have good results. If you bag the grapes, you can see that this cluster here is already bagged with a wax paper bag. And that's really what I'm holding here. I have some uh, six foot or six inch wide by eight inch, eight and a half inch long wax paper bags. I actually have a link to these. I got 200 of these bags on Amazon for pretty cheap. I have a, a link in my description to my Amazon storefront. You can just see the exact bags if you're interested um, that I ordered. So you get these things real cheap from pretty much anywhere. You don't have to get them on Amazon. Um, and then what we do is we wrap the bag around the cluster of grapes. And we, this is where the stapler comes in. I'm not just holding a stapler for no reason. Uh, we staple the bag. Um, which then keeps the bag in place and keeps the disease and a lot of moisture off of the grape cluster. So this way, uh, when we unbag the grapes, when they're ready in the, in, uh, in, let's say August, as an example, um, they're basically going to be disease free and you're going to have close to what is a perfect cluster of grape, uh, which is really quite difficult to get here. Um, as I mentioned, the disease is very difficult to deal with. And, uh, you know, like I said, if, if you're not getting disease on your grapevines, your European grapevines, and you live in the Northeast or the Mid-Atlantic or somebody somewhere really humid, consider yourself very lucky. Um, so that's what we're doing today is I'm going to bring you guys in close here and we're going to bag actually um, one or two of these clusters for you guys to show you exactly how it works. It's really, really quite simple. And uh, here's, I guess, a close up of what one of the bags that we've already done. We've done uh, a couple clusters on this vine over here that's a bit set back from um, a frost that we had. Both of these varieties, all three of them, I should say, in this row here are very disease resistant. I've, I made sure that when I had purchased them, and selected them of the varieties that I was going to grow, I wanted to make sure that they were disease resistant because if they weren't, um, I knew I was going to struggle with this. So it's really important, at least to me, um, to find disease resistant varieties. I have Mars here is the one that we're looking at. It doesn't get any of the mildew, which a lot of other varieties can get. And the mildew is purely on the leaves. But if you don't have leaves, you don't have photosynthesis to then put carbohydrates into these fruits. And then therefore, you're just not going to have sweet fruits. So you need to preserve the leaves. And I would recommend going with something like Mars, going with something that is um, mildew resistant. I have interlocking over here as well and Himrod. All three of these have never had mildew in the five years that I've been, uh, five or six years now that I've been growing them. I've been kind of losing track here. But what I'm doing now with this bag, guys, is I just came in here on the side of the bag and we made a little tear in the margin here 
on both sides of the bag. And what this is gonna do for us is allow us to wrap this around the grape cluster, around then the back side of the grape cluster. So this particular cluster here is what we're looking at. And we actually have behind it, we have a new chute that's coming out here. We're gonna take off this new chute. So we're gonna break that off. We're also gonna break off this leaf. This leaf is also in the way. So we're gonna break this off. Man, this one's tough to get off here. All right, there we go. And then we're going to wrap this around the grape cluster itself, which then goes actually around the, the chute that the cluster is on. And then we bring this back around and bring it back towards us pinch it with our fingers here for a minute and then we come in here with the stapler and just staple this shut. So we do that one side and then we come back around on the other side and do the same thing on the bottom here. Hopefully you guys can see this really well. Um, but you can see how I've kind of wrapped this around where the margins kind of come in. You gotta, you gotta tear those margins so you can wrap this around. And then there you go. So now it's wrapped around, as I said, the chute that comes up from the cordon system. And it wraps around, comes back, we staple that together. And now there is absolutely, really very little moisture um, that's gonna be able to get in there. Definitely the disease is not gonna be able to penetrate. And these bags will last, uh, believe it or not, quite a long time out here. So it's middle of June. We'll expect our fruits to be ripe sometime in August. So we've got, you know, roughly two months before we can harvest um, these grape clusters. And these bags will be all right. This one here is one of the first ones I did. And I kind of really sort of messed this one up. Um, you know, trial and error, right, guys? So... Take your time with this. I think it's really not all that difficult. And also, it's really a good idea, I think, to wait on bagging them. Because if you're not going to wait a little bit, you can see that some of these clusters are at different stages. And now that the fruits are getting a bit more plump, as an example, um, bigger in size, I think it's a better idea that you can you know, wrap these now, because if they're a bit smaller, like maybe this back here, they're going to fall off and you're going to lose probably a, a couple berries off of each cluster, which may not be a bad thing, to be honest, for uh, for fruit size. So that's kind of the video here, guys. Uh, real nice, short and sweet, easy technique, proven to work, uh, affordable, just some staples and some bags. We'll see you guys soon, all right? Uh, if you're dealing with the black rot, totally recommend it. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys soon for tomorrow's video.